time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our live, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! Hey everyone, welcome to Power Hour Live, Tuesday, September 24th, S&P up 8, NASDAQ up 73, Russell up 4, Dow unchanged, gold up 1%, silver up 4.5, notes and bonds and yields pretty flat, oil up almost 2%, natty gas down almost 2, soybeans green, corn and wheat red, euro in the pound green, Bitcoin up 3 quarters of a percent, VIX down a little over 2%, sitting at 15 point. Five. Put on a uh, early Wuga, still in range. OG Wuga centered. I uh, did some Bix today. Currently down a little over eight hundred. Haven't had any double stops, but just a lot of one-sided stops. I put on a one-two double calendar I posted, but it I completely butchered my, I don't know what I did. I still don't know what I did. Anyway, I ended up closing it. Did enter a new one-three. Still have a two-three, two-four, five-seven, six-seven on. My six-seven's up about 10%. The others are up a little bit. Two-three's down a couple percent. Uh, let's see. What else did I do today? Did some day trading this morning, made some money on some mighty nineties and runners. Did, did, uh, did some big style trading in my, one of my toss accounts too on trade steward. I'm about break even on that one. I took some early profits on one of my tranches. Uh, other than that, Chad, how's your day? Chad, come in, Chad. Chad's on mute. I unmuted it once and it got re-muted. Re I must have unmuted it before you mute it all. Anyway, another fabulous day. Uh, started off uh, my day trading um, mighty nineties, uh, mighty nineties going against me, but uh, stuck to the plan. Ended up getting back in the green, so uh, I was pretty much a scratch break even. I was up sixty two bucks, but I was happy to be up sixty two bucks after that flush. Um, one DTE closed half at 25% profit target, closed the rest at 40%. Um, AM number one, 2040, 60 and out. AM two, 2040, 60 and out. Currently in a power hour trade, and I need about 30 cents to book 20% on it. And, uh, we've got the Wuga on that I posted. I've got, one Wugon that's five wide and one that's 10 wide. So that's everything I have on right now. But uh, it appears it'll be a really nice green day again. Uh, let's see. So as far as news goes, Today's Tuesday. Tomorrow, we have new home sales. 30 minutes after the market opens, listed as medium impact. We have a Fed speaker, but it's after the market closes. So tomorrow is relatively low news. 
compared to Thursday, where we have pre-market final GDP and unemployment claims, durable good orders, and then a slew of Fed speakers, including Jerome Powell, who starts off 10 minutes before the market opens, but I guess it's a pre-recorded speech. Uh, and then Friday, pre-market core PCE. Um, I was looking at my results here. Dating back to Friday, September 12th. So that's, what is that? Five, six, the last eight trading days, my TLC trades, 18 winners, one loser. On a hot that's, your, that's your last what? On my, in my last eight trading days, dating back to Friday, September 13th, 18 winners and one loser. Nice. About ready to hit 20% on my power hour trade. Need a nickel. Hit me. Hit me, hit me. Stealing out of one of my bicks here. Uh, Moel, we've got the day trading membership and the pro. So you're on the day trading. So you have access to the all the day trading, zero DTE, all that stuff. And then the pro membership gives you access to everything, all the other strategies, non, non day trading related iron ducks, calendars, NTT, butterflies, which I haven't been doing much of, but all the other non day trading stuff. 20% profit targets hit. Yeah, calendars are non zero DTE. We are not going to do anything with Magic Mahomes, Chess Master. We are going to understand that there's a drawdown happening. As happens with every strategy. And I will keep continue trading it as is. What are these at the money flies trading for? We're right in between strikes, but already up to about a probably at the strike close to a buck thirty or buck forty. When you trade with probabilities, especially with something like that that has let's call it 65, 70% win rate. Yeah, you, I mean you have to expect that you're going to have strings of losers and strings of winners. When will they come? That's up to Krish to predict. And that's why position sizing is so important. That it is. My Wugas are both up about 25-ish percent.
Yeah, we were looking for a prediction, Chris, on when the uh, hot streak of Mahomes trades are going to come. I mean, if we don't move much here, today could be the record day as far as how early we can get into a Mahomes. Thought we might get there yesterday, but today is looking juicy. Let's see, individual stocks, biggest up, biggest green stocks, PDD is up 11%. NVIDIA got on a run today. Sure did. Baba's up eight. Piton's up eight. Baidu's up seven. All the Chinese stocks are up. Lyft is up four and a half. NVIDIA up four and a quarter. Roku up two and a half. Netflix hit new all-time highs. Tesla up one and a quarter. Verizon, the biggest red on my board, down about 5%. Or Visa. I said Verizon, I think. MasterCard's down too. Credit card's getting hit for some reason. Amazon, a little bit red. Yeah, sure, sure, sure Cody. Gold up another 1%, hitting new all-time highs. I closed out of my VRR yesterday at over 50% of max, but would have added to it today. This extension might look to sell some premium in gold again. The uh, applied volatility is getting pumped as it pushes through all-time highs. Uh, if I sell premium, I usually use GC, the gold futures. Just because GLD is a little bit, I mean, you got to do it a lot. If I'm, especially if I'm selling naked options, you know, if I go out here to GLD, kind of in a time frame where I would sell premium. It's just a little bit more efficient on the, uh, you could do GLD though. It's just, you get a little bit of better bang for your buck on the futures options. Uh, I just, uh, really all I look for Cody on those is I like to enter on days when implied volatility is contracting. So other than that, I don't, I don't have any more of a specific trigger than that. 
because the premium that you're selling is is way far out, is much further out, and then you're you're buying the shorter term vertical. So um, I have found that it it works better just if you can get in on a day when implied volatility is contracting, and then obviously you want a little bit of a down move after you get in, which is also typically volatility expanding. So that tends to to work the best. But other than that, I don't have any other specific triggers. A 30 butterfly already trading for a buck 60. Wow. I'm going to have to close out my trades to get, get my Mahomes working here pretty soon. Still 50 minutes to go. My sweet spot, my sweet spot's between 25 and 30. I like the port stay below 30, so it's creeping up. Yep, 25 to 30 would be good for my Ugas. Seeing flashes of a dollar eighty already. Hmm. It's kind of making me want to go even bigger on my homes today. If we can get, I mean, if I can get filled with thirty minutes to go, surely we can get a five point move in thirty minutes. <laughs> I mean. It looks like it wants to get back up to all time highs. Kind of hoping to stay right between where it is now and yesterday's high. Need about 25 cents for my 40% profit target, my power hour number one. Uh, you can do either, Eric D. You can scale out of your Wooga. You can let it go to the bell. You can close it at 50%. I mean, there's the OG Wooga usually is uh, out at 50%. Best thing to do, Eric, would be to just test all those different questions in Option Omega to see see what that looks like at different profit targets. I personally have decided to start letting them just go to the bell, but you know, there's definitely going to be situations where I'm up 50, 60 plus percent, and then it bolts out of my range, and I I lose money too. So. 
also depends on your your uh, appetite for that kind of risk. Yeah, like I've got a, you know, your position size is important. I've got a smaller account where, to me, it's like I'd rather just take the fifty percent and not not risk it going against me really bad. And since it's a smaller account, and then I've got my regular account that's bigger and. You know, it's got more risk tolerance there. Our, our trade is sitting dead center. And it's premium pretty good though. We get to a strike and I'm seeing flashes of a buck 80. I'm going to start working my Mahomes flies. I have the entry window on my bot starting at 3.30. Kind of wondering if I need to move that down. i move it to 3.20. It looks like the 30s are trading for about a buck 60, but seeing little mid flashes of a buck 75, buck 80. All right, I'm going to start peeling off my other stuff. Free up my strikes. Need some theta release.
All right, work in the 30s. in the 25s. Third, still 40 cents away from my profit target and my power hour, so needs to get some faded suck out. Just trying to trying to hold on to leave more than a few cents for the last half hour of the day, I guess. I mean, the straddle is only a little over five bucks right now. Yeah, creep, creep back up there and sit on 30 for a little bit. I mean, 25 and 30 would be pin for both my Woogas. I like a good dream, Madam Butterfly. I like a good dream. It's, it's good to dream. Still 35 cents away from my 40% profit target. It's just holding premium. Yeah, SPX is sideways. VIX is starting to creep up just a little bit. Between 25 and 30 would also allow me to go green on my Bix for the day.
back up towards 30, but that butterfly's still staying around a buck 60. My 40% profit target is 305. I've been on about 345, 350 now for about 20 minutes. There's just there's just no premium left to decay. It's got to hold a little bit to the bell. It definitely likes 30. It does not want to come down much from it. Yep, everything just frozen time. Well, yesterday was a paint dry day and it ended up nicely. So let's see if well, uh, SPX can paint dry for us again, although we need that little movement for Mahomes. Wuga is still hanging around 25 to 30%.
Well, what else, my friends? Any other questions? Now is the time. There we go. 40%. I rolled up some puts in my oil trade today. They were over 50%. Back to center. My one DTE. I transformed half of it into a upside vertical for tomorrow. I've also got yesterday's one DTE that would need to close above 57.40 to hit today, but don't really want that. My uh, my other half of today's one DTE, I'm still holding. It's not hit 45% yet. It's about a dollar away. Getting just a tiny bit of contraction in VXX. Still have my vertical on that needs some contraction down to in the mid to low 40s. Still have three of my five VRRs on that's in good shape. That at the money 30 straddle is still trading for over five bucks has not really done much. Closer to the 25 strike, but the 30s are still trading a little bit higher. 
on the butterflies. Hey, well, I'll take it right here at about 26, 27. That would be a sweet spot for me. Two contracts left of my TLC day. It's going to be a big green day. I mean, these premiums are acting like the VIX is at like 11. Still at 15 and a half. Kind of like yesterday, you know, twenty here the twenty five thirty straddle probably either one would have been profitable. Yeah, I've been I've been watching the thirty straddle though. It's been over five bucks for about whatever since I first talked about it thirty minutes ago. Is up forty percent. It's interesting how that oh now the twenty five fly is getting a little a little higher. We just need to sit on a strike. No record entry for Mahomes today. We're at twenty one minutes to go.
Just doesn't want to get to a strike. Creeping back up to 30. It's 30 butterflies still staying buck 60 ish. Oh, here we go. Maybe we gotta, if we sit here now. Both my Wugas are at about 45%. Still need 55 cents to hit my 60% profit target. That 30 straddle finally down to about four or something. Man, these butterflies, though, they do not want to get to two bucks. All right, 30 cents away. 15 minutes till the bell, five minutes till MOC. We don't get filled before MOC. That's going to be interesting. Creeping back towards 30. Oh, 
Oh, stay down there. My TLC PNLs teetering on eight eight K for the day. Twenty five cents. Yeah, three point expected move left here. You would think with a three point expected move, we could get filled on a five wide fly by now. Had my orders in for 30 minutes, <laughs> thinking we may get an early fill. That's crazy. Wugas are at 50%. Thirties are getting close. Yeah, this is a little weird. Thirties are all over two bucks, but no fill. One minute till MOC. Come on, hit it. Hit it. My bot's trying to fire. Sixty million sell side filled on the thirties. Filled on the thirties, canceled the twenty fives. My bot still has not filled.
All right, I need to move away from 30, preferably down. Or we could spike up to 35 and lock in and then come back down. That'd be even better. Good point, Naughty Dog. That may be some that may have something to do with it. We need to get Kelsey going big time. Go ahead and close my one DTE. Hit my 60 and out. My bot still hasn't filled. There we go. Also in the 30s. Highs of day, all time highs, fifty seven thirty four. Yesterday's highs around 25. Love to see a push up to new all time highs, lock in our vertical, and then come back down to 25 for the big win. Five minutes. Yo, come on down. Come on down.
Bouncing back up. Looks like it wants all time highs. Wuga does not want all time highs. Yeah, Wuga wants Wuga wants below thirty. Two minute warning, Mahomes. Two minute warning. This is where you shine. Drop down to 25. Wrong direction. Man, this thing is just not wanting to move. No movement. Bummer. Eating profits. 30 seconds. Eating profits. Go back down, please. Verticals locked. All right, now drop. Now we drop. Drop it like what? it's hot. What the? Come back down, baby. Ding, 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 closing at all-time highs. I had a little mark down, 33.03. .03. Well, Mahomes locked. I'm not sure how I went from... I'm not sure how my that... Early, my early move is going to be about a break-even. My does your is going to be a little winner? Does your it it says my wugas are big time losers? Like, did you have a stop or something? No. What what says that? My P and L. That'll probably settle out tomorrow or overnight. Okay, because I'm like, yeah, it's inside my break even. Yeah, it's wherever the price settles. So it came down to thirty two ninety nine. So mine are both, both inside. Yeah, it's telling me that it was a nine hundred twenty one dollar loss, even though it's well inside my break even. Is your does your P 
pink line of your wrist graph look all wonky? Yeah, it's not even with the teal line. Yeah. Yeah. Let's settle out, right? Here, I'll show you. Looks like this. Yeah, that little move did hit, hurt my Bix, though. Oh, yeah, that's not, that's pretty similar to mine. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a bad print. On as far as PL goes. All right, all. Well, my Wugas won. Mahomes was a winner. My Bix ended up a loser. But uh, all in all, pretty good day. Uh, tomorrow, live stream. Chad will be streaming live at the Open for Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. Take care. Talk to you soon.